The Elem Offset Panel allows you to create and modify elements by offsetting from immersive plate or shell elements. We enter the Element Offset Panel from the 2D page. Shell Offset Use this option to offset shell elements. We use the Shell Offset option to offset shell elements. We use the Elements to Offset selector to select which elements we need to offset. Once the elements are selected, enter the distance the elements need to be offset and then click on Offset. Here we see elements offset by a distance of 25 units. We reject this and then offset in the opposite direction. We now go into the Shell Layers sub-panel. Use this option to offset layers of shell elements. Use this option to specify the number of layers of elements to build along the normal direction. Use this option to define an initial offset from the surface of the plate elements along the positive normal direction. Since we're operating in the negative normal direction we will not specify any offset Use Total Thickness to define the total thickness of the layers of shell elements you want to create. Now we click on Offset to demonstrate shell layers. We can choose the corner style of the offset elements. Square corners maintain the element normals, producing sharp corners but resulting in corner elements with severe angles. Rounded corners are similar, but adjust the element thickness as the mesh near the corner, reducing the severity of the corner element's angles. Enter the biasing intensity value. Biasing will alter the gap between layers according to preset formulations. Select linear or no biasing, exponential, or bell curve. Now we will change from exponential to linear biasing. Compare this with exponential biasing we tried earlier. We have third corner style to explore called CFD corners. CFD corners are similar to rounded corners, but they do not attempt to maintain the element normals, so all of the edges of each element are adjusted to reduce the severity of their corner angles. You can assign the distributed thickness, here we use a thickness ratio of 5 on the 11 corner notes. We uncheck the distributed thickness option to better understand normal CFD corner style. Notice that CFD elements lean toward the corners in comparison with rounded or square options. We now explore the solid layers option used to create layers of solid elements from shell elements. We can change the number of layers of solid elements using the number of layers option. We now use the thicken shells option. Use this option to thicken shell elements or create one layer of solid elements from shell elements. When we specify that the shells are on the surface. The replacement shells are formed above or below the selected elements. When we change to the squared corners option, thickness can be given from the property assigned to the elements.
Alternatively we can select to specify the fitness value ourselves.